Grace Chapel, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Councilman Wallace. If you would rise with me, please, for the invocation and pledge. <clears throat> Let's pray. Dear Father, we thank you uh, this evening for this great, awesome privilege we have to be in your presence and to be in your audience. And we ask you, Lord, that you would be with us uh, the council uh, this evening, um, give them the direction, wisdom that they require, that, need, that they need. And we ask you, Lord, for your protection and your safety over our community. Our first thoughts go to the first responders, our police, fire, and, and emergency crews. And we ask you, Lord, to watch over them. There's a lot of families in our community who are hurting because of the heroin epidemic and the, the fallout from that. And we ask you, Lord, for your help and your uh, guidance there. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for this privilege that you have given to us, that we can come and call on your name for help. And we give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Pastor Jordan and Councilman Wallace. May I have roll call, please? Vice President Smith. Councilman Wallace. Here. Councilman Louderback. Here. Councilwoman Mays. Here. Councilwoman Mills. Here. Mayor Bayless. Here. President Engel. Here. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to excuse our Vice President this evening. Thank you very much. I have a motion second. to excuse and a seconded by Councilman Wallace. Any discussion or question on the motion, please? <coughs> Seeing none, roll call. Councilman Wallace. Aye. Councilman Louderback. Aye. Councilwoman Mays. Aye. Councilwoman Mills. Aye. Mayor Bayless. Aye. President Engel. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. At this time, we have uh, approval of minutes. I would request a motion, please, for approval of our April 27th, 2017 special session. So moved. Moved by Councilwoman Mays. Second, please. Second. Second by Councilwoman Mills. Discussion or question on this set of minutes, please. Seeing none, roll call. Councilman Wallace. Aye. Councilman Louderback. Aye. Councilwoman Mays. Aye. Councilwoman Mills. Aye. Mayor Bayless. Aye. President Engel. Aye. Motion carried. Uh, normally, uh, we would be approving our regular session minutes, but those were uh, rather extensive, and we are holding those uh, in abeyance until our last meeting in May the 25th, uh, upon which time we will review and approve them. At this time, we have opportunity for a very special presentation. Uh, Mayor, please. Oh. Thank you. I have the honor of making this very special presentation, and I'll read it first, and then we'll ask you to come up. And Will anybody be taking pictures? Okay. Then, then we'll have you come around. Maybe we'll just shake we'll your hand. Pictures, and, yeah. Oh, you'll take pictures? I'll okay. Take pictures. So this is a resolution, and um, it says, whereas Mrs. Diane L. Steck began her employment with the city of Xenia on March 7, 2005, as the accounts receivable manager, and whereas prior to her employment with the Xenia city of Xenia, Diana received an associate degree in accounting from Sinclair Community College and worked with local government software, including income tax and utility billing for over 17 years. And whereas during her ten tenure with the city, Diana has dedicated to moving the city forward and has spent countless hours streamlining income tax and utility billing processes and developing new and efficient ways of doing business to improve customer service, including but not limited to the following. Implementing automated meter reading, allowing the city to move to monthly meter reading, implementing online payments for utilities and tax, implementing online income tax filing, implementing changes to the city income tax rules and regulations and income tax ordinance based on House Bill 5, working with our software vendor on program changes for compliance with House Bill 5, creating utility billing rules and regulations, creating a utility billing office online peer group for over 100 members from multiple states to discuss utility issues and provide 
a resource for best practices in the utility billing, billing field. Implementing office technology changes, including check scanning for deposit, scanning payments to accounts, scanning records for storage and retrieval. Implementing email utility billing, online customer lookup of utility accounts. Whereas among the many projects she has successfully completed during her tenure, many of these projects saved the city thousands of dollars, including the creation of online forms and postcard notification of income tax filing requirements and outsourcing printing and mailing of utility bills. And whereas Diana has also been a valuable resource to staff and provided assistance and technical support for projects, including but not limited to the following. Development of all income tax and utility billing website pages for initial website launch in 2007, as well as comprehensive web website redesigns in 2011 and 15. Development of technical specifications for the new financial system software request for proposals. Design of the accounts receivable office area in the new city building administration building. Whereas Diana has received several letters of commendation noting her exemplary customer service and professionalism. And in 2016, she received an award from the American Water Works Association Ohio section for career achievement demonstrating proactive practices, process improvements, and who mentors others and promotes education in the public and drinking water profession. And whereas Diana has chosen to retire from public service to work from home and spend more time with her husband, Duke. And whereas Diana's last day of public service is May 12, 2017. Now, therefore, the city of Xenia hereby resolves that the, city of, that the Xenia City Council, on behalf of the citizens of Xenia, Ohio, expresses its appreciation of the dedication and devotion she has shown to our community and to our citizens, and we wish her well in her future, future endeavors. We sincerely thank her for her 12 years of dedicated public service and be it further resolved that this resolution will be placed in the permanent record of the city of Xenia, acknowledging her dedicated service to the city of Xenia. That was a mouthful. Mr. President, if I may, uh, I know the mayor is going to get ready to, to do the presentation, but uh, um, I'd like to take this opportunity. When we were putting together the, the resolution, it gave me an opportunity to look back at a lot of the things that have been done over the last 10 to 12 years. And um, what isn't expressed, and as the mayor said, that was a lot to, to put out there, but what isn't expressed in there is all the time and the effort and the, and the personal dedication to, uh, spent uh, at great personal sacrifice. You know, for the citizens of this community, and I think, um, I think Brent and, and the rest of the staff would, would would echo that comment. So I can't thank Diana enough for our department, um, and on behalf of the city, um, truly. And I see I see Becky over there, and she was involved. Uh, she was former assistant finance director uh, when we brought Diana on. Uh, but I can't say that I can say this without hesitation that, you know, there are very few people, it's the right place and the, and the right time and the right person for a particular job. And there is no truer thing that I can say than that would be the case for Diana coming to mm -hmm. us at the time that she did and all the advances we've been able to make for the citizens directly as a result of her effort. So we are going to miss her terribly and tremendously, but um, we know she'll be around. So. Here, here.
Becky almost thought I'd come up and join them, shouldn't she? <laughs> I just want to thank everybody. This was a great opportunity for me. Uh, Mark is the best boss anybody could have. I have a great staff. Um, but Mark pretty much, if I said, can we try this? He went, sure. <laughs> so, and not every boss is like that. So I have really enjoyed my time here, and I will miss everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. 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 Diana, I wish you hadn't said that about Mark. He's up for a pay raise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our next portion of the meeting is time for audience comments. If anyone would care to comment. Do we actually need to pass that resolution? Oh, we do need to pass the resolution. Yes. I'm terribly sorry. Need a motion. Yeah. Need a motion. <laughs> motion. So, second. Motion and seconded by uh, Councilwoman Mills and the mayor. Any discussion or question on the motion, please? <coughs> Seeing none, roll call. Councilman Wallace. Aye. Councilman Louderback. Aye. Councilwoman May. Aye. Councilwoman Mills. Aye. Mayor Bayless. Aye. President Engel. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Now we have an opportunity for audience comments. If anyone would care to come and address the Zenith City Council this evening, please feel free to do so. Step to the podium, provide us your name and address. Limit your comments three to four minutes, please. Thank you very much. John Kalp, 936 Orville Way. I'd like to uh, also congratulate Diana on uh, her time with the city. Uh, as Mark alluded to, uh, a fine employee. I'd be remiss, though, about a month ago when I was up here, I totally neglected to uh, congratulate uh, Bill Buckwater on his 42 years of service uh, to the city of Xenia. Uh, it's a long, long time, and I didn't see anything on, on Facebook or anything on the city's website. So I uh, want to personally uh, congratulate Bill and, and wish him the best in his retirement. Uh, tonight, I'd like to speak to you as a board member for the Board of Elections. Um, when Denise Percival became uh, deputy di or de director at the Board of Elections a few years back when I was still on council, I know she approached our city clerk about changing the city's petition. Uh, to run for city council. The city of Xenia and the city of Yellow Springs, or the village of Yellow Springs, are the only two municipalities in Greene County that do not use the standard Secretary of State uh, petition um, that can be pulled off the website. So, you know, it would be nice if everyone in Greene County was uniform and everybody used the same petition. It does not state that or mean that you have to change the number of signatures that you require or anything like that. Um, it just standardizes the petition uh, that everyone is using in Greene County. So with that being said, uh, I would hope that uh, possibly council would uh, take and address that with the city clerk and see if we can make that change uh, before this upcoming election season. Thank you very much. Mr. President. What? I know we don't normally address audience comments, but since uh, Mr. Cobb is on the Board of Elections, by when would we need to make any change in order to make have it effective for the... We can certainly have uh, city, clerk. city clerk call and uh, investigate that. Yeah. yeah, we've looked at that issue before. We've had contact with uh, <coughs> Mrs. Percival on that issue. Okay. Uh, I don't remember where we left it, but certainly we can, we can take that back up again. Bring it back to council. Check, research that, and bring it back to us. Then, thank you. Thank you. Would anyone else care to come and address the uh, city council this evening, please? Mm 
Good evening, Mr. President, Madam Mayor, and ladies and gentlemen, Senior City Council. I'm Thomas Scrivens, and by the grace of God, I still reside at 725 Lexington Avenue here in Xenia. I want to give the council kudos and thanks for taking out the yellow paint and going to work. It makes the place look a lot better, especially where you're not supposed to park. We have a problem, some neighborhoods, where we have semis parking in the neighborhood, and uh, even on yellow. And unfortunately, our finest ride right by them. So maybe a word to the wise will be sufficient on that note. Uh, other than that, <clears throat> I'd like to congratulate the Bridges of Hope for uh, obtaining uh, the Simon Kenton building. We look forward to great things. And I see some of the people downtown here. I'm sure they will be very happy about that. So just wanted to say thank you. Um, I hate to see Mr. Morrison hang up his uh, spurs, but apparently being a two-time loser at the ballot box makes you cower and run. But uh, Xenia needs to continue to step up. And behind your good leadership, Mr. President and Madam Mayor and the city manager, I'm sure we're going to make that mark. We need to continue to press for the mark. And uh, you know, we can see progress. I just want to say the last uh, rain event, quite a lot of grass rolled down to the storm drain. There was a couple of them in my neighborhood. I whoosh, you know. We need to get our crews out there, especially after a rain event. Make sure those storm drains are clean so we can handle the water. There's still standing water, and God knows what happens when you have standing water. So there are a number of standing water places, a couple of them I've made the council aware of uh, time and time again. Uh, one's on Orchard Street there between East Church and Radar. It, the, the, the stone washes down and then blocks the path and water backs up. So with that, Mr. President, we just want to say uh, we're happy to see the council getting behind the city uh, workers and making them pull out the paintbrush. In this case, it's a machine. And at least the downtown square looks presentable. And we want to continue that as we move toward our entryways. And then eventually, I'd like to see our entries, each one of them, beautified and signage. You know, welcome to Xenia. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the time, and God bless everybody. Thank you. Would anyone else care to come and address the Zenia City Council this evening, please? Hello, my name is Dan Jordan, and I live at 91 Taka Drive here in Xenia. On behalf of Bridges of Hope, um, when the vote came through from the council that we were able to receive Simon Kenton Building, I was not. Uh, able to say thank you and that's my purpose this evening and I do appreciate uh, the response and the favorable vote I appreciate so much the help from uh, the city staff uh, Brent Ryan Chris those who have been a part of this and uh, a lot ha has happened in the last two weeks we have two major partners that we are working with um, as far as coming in to work with us in the building. A lot of interest, a lot of energy, good momentum. And so just thank you. We've got a ways to go, but I appreciate your support. And uh, we are here to help our community be the best it can be. And so, again, just wanted to say thank you for your, your support and your help. So thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Mark Jarvis, 715 Mount Vernon Drive. I just have one comment to make. I know you can't answer questions if I present a question to you, but at the next council meeting, I would like to know how much money the city of Xenia spent on having a police officer out here in front doors out here at the last meeting. Thank you. <coughs> Would anyone else care to come and address the Xenia City Council this evening, please? Seeing none, we'll move to reports of committees. Uh, Vice President Smith is absent this evening, so we will reschedule his report on Planning and Zoning Commission. 
Uh, Councilwoman Mills, Board for Recreation, Arts, and Cultural Activities, please. Thank you. At our last meeting, we had discussed all of our plans that we were making for um, First Fridays. Unfortunately, due to the weather, which I believe was a very wise decision, it was canceled. So uh, we did not have the opportunity to pass out the seedlings and have the activities for um, children to, to participate with the Arbor Day events. We had uh, two very successful Arbor Days, one planning at an elementary school here in Xenia and the other one uh, two trees planting at uh, Shawnee Park, and it was a, a very successful event. Uh, we spoke about uh, the Easter egg hunt and how great it was. And then we also look forward to the fishing derby, which is June 3rd, and it will begin at 9 o'clock. So uh, we hope everyone will be able to come out and participate in that. And that was what we had focused on in our last meeting. Thank you very much. Anything for Councilwoman Mills and Board for Recreation, Arts, and Cultural Activities, please? The only question is, do we know when the the first first Friday will be rescheduled? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not, in, um, this BRCA board is not part of First Fridays. It's done independently, uh, not through the city, so the I am not manager, sure. Do you have any yeah, update? We've not had any communication back yet of whether they'll tack another event on or, or, or not. We'll certainly find out for you. But June 2nd <laughs> is the first Friday of June, and then the Fishing Derby is June 3rd, so I'm hoping that we have a full weekend here in the city of Xenia. I believe the reason it, the weather forced most of the vendors to cancel, and so yes. they had virtually no vendors who were going to show up, which is why they ended up canceling for the, the May event. <clears throat> Anything else for bracket, please? Seeing none, Councilwoman Mays, Traffic Commission, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, traffic did not meet on May 1st. We had previously met in April, and due <clears throat> to a scheduling conflict, we had to switch our meeting to April 11th. At that time, we asked our city engineer and that department to do some research on Whiteman Drive and some possible options to, to address the situation there. Uh, because there was not a full month in between to do that research, we have not met in May. So we are planning to come back to that in June, uh, June 5, and hopefully then present the council with some options. And I would like to remind <laughs> those who are watching at home or out in the audience that we do still have an opening on Traffic Commission and we would definitely appreciate anybody who is willing to step up and fill that vacancy. You can contact the city clerk. Thank you. Thank you. Anything for Councilwoman Mays and traffic, please? Seeing none, Mayor Bayless, Board of Zoning Appeals, please. Thank you. The Board of Zoning Appeals met on April 24th. We had two items that were almost identical. Uh, was one, the first was a variance request to allow a six foot tall wood privacy fence to be constructed in the front yard on a corner lot at 2326 Minnesota Drive by property owner Sean Davidson, and that was denied. The second was a variance request to allow a six foot tall wood privacy fence to be constructed in the front yard on a corner lot at 590 Colorado Drive, filed by property owner Robert Bynum Jr., and that was denied as well. Thank you. Anything for Mayor Bayless and Board of Zoning Appeals, please? And we do have an opening on our board as well. Thank you very much. So any of the openings that uh, you've heard, please contact the city clerk uh, to submit a letter of interest, please. Next item on the agenda is items from City Council and Mayor. Anything from my colleagues to bring to the order? There's nothing scheduled this evening. Councilman. Um, Mr. City Manager, maybe you can address this. Um, there's a little bit of misunderstanding. The, the, we um, voted three to two to go into negotiations with Bridges of Hope. You have to come back with an ordinance, and it takes four votes to pass that. So my point is it's not a done deal with uh, Bridges of Hope. Pursuant to, to our regulatory requirements, um, yeah, for a transfer of the real estate, the real property, it will require a, a, an ordinance to approve the purchase agreement, um, and that would uh, that ordinance would necess necess excuse me necessitate a four vote majority. Yes. Thank you. And I think we've tentatively scheduled that for or projected that for next the next time. meeting, I believe. Thank you. Anything else, please? Seeing none, reports to city offices, Mr. City Manager, or excuse me, Xenia Municipal Court. Not used to that out of order. Go ahead. Thank you. 
Mayor Zangle, uh, Mayor Bayless, uh, city councilmen and councilwomen and other respected members of this panel, thank you for the time. Uh, some of you may remember about nine years ago um, when Judge Murray was uh, elected to be judge of senior municipal court and I, as an appointed a clerk, um, became uh, quite aware of the pretty uh, critical need of our file records that were in the just horrendous shape. Uh, I came to the council. Uh, there was an emergency ordinance passed to provide some monies to begin uh, uh, getting some damaged files in, in better shape, getting them off the floor, getting them in. Uh, we had their files out in a storage center out on North Detroit Street that had to be retrieved. And so uh, to make a long story short, we began then uh, some emergency measures to try to, to protect the integrity, which is my one of my jobs as a clerk to, to maintain. We began a, a scanning a system to digitize all records from that point forward. So somewhere around 2009 and forward, we have then digitized all of our court records. So they are they are saved electronically as well as we have uh, hard copies of those as well. But we don't have digitized copies of the pre-2009 files. As we were planning to our move to the a probation department over to the Justice Center and the Archive Center, then over to the City Service Center, I just began thinking and, and strategizing on moving a lot of these pre-2009 records that are right now, they're protected, they're safe, they're dry, but they're in metal storage cabinets in the basements of both of those facilities, <coughs> and just the physical work and labor of moving those files to another location uh, was kept me up at night a few nights just trying to think of how we can do this. And so uh, not wanting to be in the type of person that I hate to move things twice or move, do more work than what we have to, I began to think of some, well, what, what could we do? Could we begin back scanning these files? I began thinking in terms of maybe hiring some part-time people. I even talked to Ryan Duke about the possibility. I began to think of the number of hours it would take to back scan close to a million pa pieces of paper, and that was, that was cost prohibitive. I began to check with some vendors to see about uh, hiring the, the digitizing of those records out. And uh, I received uh, a sticker shock on both of those items. And, and so uh, around uh, the first of the year, I was made aware through uh, email uh, that the Ohio Court Technology uh, Grant was going to be made available for courts who would make ap applications to that grant. We'd received uh, a smaller grant two years ago. And so I prepared a petition for two grants for the court. One would be for some recording equipment in, in the area which will be our, the, count, the old council chambers, which will be our second courtroom. But then the other, I thought, I'm going to put this petition out. So I made a, a bid for a $67,450 grant then for a digitizing of all of our court records. And on April of this year, I received the word that we had, we had been uh, granted uh, that, that particular grant. We, Zenia Municipal Court was, a, and the amount we received was the third highest grant awarded in the state of Ohio for, for a municipal court. And so that uh, check has already been received. It has uh, been deposited. And so my request for you today is to, uh, as you can see on the back page, to waive the reading of an ordinance at uh, two consecutive meetings and pass as an emergency an ordinance to appropriate $67,450, which again has already been received and deposited. Uh, in line 101, 102, 53290, and authorize myself, the clerk, to execute a purchase order in the amount of 67424 to Ryko Woodhall to allow XMC to complete the document imaging back scanning project. Thank you very much. May I have a motion, please, as an emergency to appropriate the requested amount of monies and to authorize the clerk of courts to execute the purchase order? Please. I so move, Mr. May uh, Mr. President. Thank you. Moved by Councilman Wallace. Second, please. Second. Second by the mayor. Discussion or question on the motion, please. Congratulations. Thank that you. That would be my only comment. Absolutely. Like, that's incredible. Okay. Good job. Thank you for going out and seeking these grants and being able to get it. That's fantastic. Trust me, no one was happier to receive that letter <laughs> than I was. <laughs> it was going to be a lot of my physical labor as well. I did have one question. Now, will we actually destroy the yes. paper records if, yes. if once they're dished. Yes. And that is, that is in compliance with not only our local rules, but also the Supreme Court rules. Good. As long as we have a digitized copy <clears throat> that's accessible, and we do, we will, uh, of those records, then they, they yeah, this, this amount will, um, what we will do is we will physically prepare, uh, move the files, and we, we do have to like remove staples and things like that, get them paper ready, we'll box them up, 
Uh, they come with their trucks. We will load them and help load them in the trucks. They take them away. They will scan them, and then they will they will purge them. They will shred them, and that's all in a plan. They, this is a company that also does a number of government agencies. They are approved by government to do that. Uh, we received the uh, recommendation by two other municipal courts that have used their services, so they are they are trustworthy agency to do that work. And then we'll sell some file cabinets down the road. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes, we will. Hmm. On that same note, uh, obviously cybersecurity is of tremendous concern. I'm assuming that uh, this particular enterprise is having it backup stored for you somewhere and protected as well. Yes, a part of the, uh, and this would be an IT question, but a part of our objective and goal here at IT is also to have our all of our backups uh, not only uh, here but also in a, in, a, in a place. I believe they're going to be out in the service center. Yeah. Three um, locations actually will be able to yeah. back up redundancy. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Any other questions, please? Seeing none, roll call. Councilman Wallace. Aye. Councilman Lauterbach. Aye. Councilwoman Mays. Aye. Councilwoman Mills. Aye. Mayor Bayless. Aye. President Engel. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, did we need another motion to go as an emergency, or did we include no. food that all of was all inclusive? Okay. Thank you, Mr. City Manager. Thank you, Mr. President. The only scheduled item this evening is a recommendation that City Council authorize execution of a contract with Public Entities Pool of Ohio for property and liability insurance coverage for May 1, 2017 to May 1, 2018, in an amount of $205,461. Uh, with Montgomery Insurance continuing to serve as the broker of record and our local customer service agent. The staff feels that continuing our arrangement with PEP provides a cost-effective approach to this important service provi provision. The staff continues to work with Montgomery Insurance and PEP representatives to refine our coverage and ensure a good service delivery for our organization. Uh, we recommend a motion to approve the contract to engage the service as described for another coverage year. Thank you very much. May I have a motion, please, to authorize the city manager to execute the contract with PEP? So moved. Moved by Councilwoman Mays. Second, please. Second. Second by Councilwoman Mills. Discussion or question on this motion, please. Seeing none, roll call. Councilman Wallace. Aye. Councilman Louderback. Aye. Councilwoman Mays. Aye. Councilwoman Mills. Aye. Mayor Bayless. Aye. President Angle. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. The you only know, other item I have this evening is just a brief update. Uh, we're on the uh, precipice of Hamvention, so I wanted to bring Council up to speed uh, on that event. Uh, staff has, of course, continued to work with leadership from Greene County, Senior Township, and the convention planners for the uh, what is really now imminent 2017 Dayton Hamvention, which is being hosted at the Greene County Fairgrounds. The event will occur May 19th, 20th, and 21st. The city will play a critical role in the event administration supporting public safety and traffic control needs in addition to marketing and various other community outreach efforts uh, that we're participating in. <coughs> residents will see the first signs of Hamvention within the next couple of work days as banners and signage will begin to appear around the city. Uh, city staff working with Xenia Township leaders uh, has also sent out information letters to local residents or, uh, in the immediate vicinity around the convention site. Um, this will specifically uh, uh, provide information to those most directly impacted um, by the event uh, so that they can be prepared. Uh, today. We have plans to issue the first of two community-wide hyper-reach calls uh, with event details and information on potential impacts to our uh, public given the infusion of conventioneers, which are expected to arrive next weekend. Um, as a reminder, the event organizers do estimate uh, daily attendance at the event of 30,000 or more attendees, um, which effectively doubles our local population. So we want to make sure that our, our citizens are, are uh, aware and prepared. Uh, additionally, we'll send a second community-wide hyperreach call as a final reminder with any updates next Thursday evening, the night before the convention opens. Um, city staff's working with uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau uh, with our local businesses as well. We've uh, provided communications to local businesses. We did have an event um, earlier this week that we provided uh, uh, for an opportunity to ask any questions uh, for you know uh, by local businesses of the uh, for, for the convention planners. So uh, we've done our best to do some business outreach and, and make sure that they're prepared for the. Uh, uh, the folks who are coming into town. So uh, we're excited about the event, uh, looking forward to getting it over with a little bit just so that we can, uh, you know, kind of get that um, off of our back. It's It's been a long time in the planning. We're a little nervous about how the administration uh, will go. The only other probably key to look at is weather. The preliminary forecast does show the potential for rain next Thursday, Friday. Um, so I think things will be a little more complex if we do get that rain. But of course, that's, you know, a week out. So we'll see what we get. Thank you. That's Any all I have to see. do about it. Anything <laughs> for the city manager, please? Seeing none, Mr. Finance Director. 
Thank you, Mr. President. I have two items this evening, the first of which I'm asking for introduction of a resolution authorizing the certification of assessments to the county auditor for unpaid weed mowing, trash cleanup, and utility invoices. Uh, this is the first one for the year. Uh, we do this now three times a year. Thank you very much. May I have an introduction, please, from one of my so colleagues? Introduced. introduced by Councilman Lauterbach. Thank you. And the second item I have is the scheduled bills in the amount of $751,456.46. Thank you. Motion to pay our bills, please. So moved. Moved by Councilwoman Mills. Second, please. Second. Second by Councilwoman Mays. Discussion or question on our bills, please. Seeing none, roll call. Councilman Wallace. Aye. Councilman Lauterbach. Aye. Councilwoman Mays. Aye. Councilwoman Mills. Aye. Mayor Bayless. Aye. President Engel. Aye. Motion carried. Thank That's you. That's all I have this evening, Mr. President. Thank you. Anything for our finance director this evening, please? Seeing none, Mr. Law Director. There are three, uh, four ordinances uh, for action tonight, and I'll begin with the first one. Uh, ordinance approving a major change to a PUD concept plan for an existing 158.382 acre planned unit development encompassing parcels or portions of parcels formerly known as the Ohio Veterans Children's Home, OVCH, by increasing the PUD to a total of 249.837 acres and modifying the PUD standards. This uh, ordinance was originally introduced by Mayor Bayless. Mr. President, I'll move that for passage. Thank you. Have a motion to pass. May I have a second, please? Second. Second by Councilman Wallace. Discussion or question on the motion, please. Seeing none, roll call. Councilman Wallace. Aye. Councilman Lauterbach. Aye. Councilwoman Mays. Aye. Councilwoman Mills. Aye. Mayor Bayless. Aye. President Engel. Aye. Motion carried. Ordinance amending part 10 Streets, Utilities, and Public Services Code, Title VI, Other Public Service, Chapter 1060, Sanitation Service of the Codified Ordinances of the City of Xenia. And this uh, ordinance was originally introduced by Councilman Lauterbach. So moved, Mr. President. Move for passage. Second, please. Second. Second by Councilwoman Mills. Discussion or question on this motion, please. Seeing none, roll call. Councilman Wallace. Aye. Councilman Lauterbach. Aye. Councilwoman Mays. Aye. Councilwoman Mills. Aye. Mayor Bayless. Aye. President Engel. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Ordinance amending part two, administration code, title 12, fees, chapter 298, fee schedule of the codified ordinances of the city of Xenia. This ordinance was originally introduced by Councilwoman Mills. Said moved as written. Thank you. <clears throat> Move for passage. Second, please. Second. Second by Councilwoman Mays. Discussion or question on this motion, please. Seeing none, roll call. Councilman Wallace. Aye. Councilman Lauterbach. Aye. Councilwoman Mays. Aye. Councilwoman Mills. Aye. Mayor Bayless. Aye. President Engel. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Ordinance amending part two, administrative code, title six, administration, chapter 260, employees generally, Section 260.03, pay sources of the codified ordinance of the city of Xenia to amend pay sources for laborer, originally introduced by Vice President Smith. I will make the motion to pass for the Vice President. Second, please. Second. Second by Councilwoman, Wa Councilman Wallace. Any discussion or question on the motion, please? Seeing none, roll call. Councilman Wallace? Aye. Councilman Lauterbach? Aye. <coughs> Councilwoman Mays? No. Councilwoman Mills? No. Mayor Bayless? Aye. President Engel? Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Anything for our law director this evening, please? Seeing none, we'll move to reading of communications and discussion. Councilman Lauterbach, please. I have nothing this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Councilman Mays. I have nothing this evening. Councilman Wallace. I have nothing this evening. Councilwoman Mills. Well, I have something this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I just want to say that um, school is getting near the end, 
and before our next council meeting I believe school will be out and also before our next council meeting the 2017 graduates of Xenia High School will have their commencement so I want to congratulate everyone having their commencement on May 24th at the Nutter Center and um, very happy and very proud thank you thank you and you have a graduate correct I do congratulations thank you mayor thank you uh, I do want to congratulate our own captain, Steve Lane. He graduated from Wilberforce University in the Quine program. And so I was able to attend the, the baccalaureate service at Wilberforce University and the graduation of Central State University. Uh, I attended also the change of command ceremony. It was held at the uh, Air Force Museum. This was the first time they've ever had two change of command ceremonies at one time. So that was very interesting and it went very quickly. I also attended the Green Memorial Hospital prayer breakfast and it was really delightful to not only um, see once again, but hear from the former president, Terry Burns. He was a speaker on that occasion. And then on Friday, had several events on Friday. I did have seven, but the rain stopped the <laughs> some of the activities. So. Uh, but the Greene County <laughs> Legislative Breakfast was held that morning uh, at the Career Center, an area of politicians gave updates on the county and state levels. And then I attended the Cycling Attracts workshop that was held at Wright State University, and there were several in attendance. Um, and that was the same time as Wilberforce University's baccalaureate service. And then uh, that evening, I attended the Denim and Diamonds fundraiser for the Greene County Domestic Violence Center and followed by Saturday morning being a special guest at Central State's graduation. And then on Sunday, I greeted a group of bikers. This was in between church. So <laughs> I greeted some bikers. They um, traveled from the international trip for the International Trail Symposium. And it was really interesting. There was a, a pretty large group and I just asked them if they could just tell us briefly just where they're from. And they were from all over the country. Um, from the Midwest to California, that area. But real interesting, and they thought we had a wonderful city and were delighted that I would come out and meet and greet them. So, um, Other members of the International Trail met, met at the Bike Hub on Tuesday. So I met them as well. Um, they were doing a slow row tour, and they were learning about the historical sites in Xenia and then traveling by bike to Wilberforce, of those historical areas as well. And then also on Tuesday, um, Arrowwood celebrated its Arbor Day and they had the planting of trees and it was witnessed by several classes. And of course, the number one request was that I bring Bruno along. So he attended as well. And just as he did last year, he left a treat on in their grass, which <laughs> as he did last year. <laughs> You're right, the trees just bring it out, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and then I uh, attended Xenia's teacher's retirement dinner. And I was certainly honored when I was asked to speak for Lori Anger, and she's the wife of our own retired, newly retired detective, Scott Anger. And it was a great uh, celebration, and I was able to, because I was principal in the building where she taught, um, she asked that I just speak for her, so I was able to introduce her, and that was quite an honor. And then I just want to congratulate all the retirees, and um, plus the new, newest retirement that we learned of, well, some learned yesterday or before, and some learned today about Superintendent Denny Morris, and he has given so much to this, not only to the school district, but to this community, and he will be missed. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have a couple of items as well. Uh, the mayor and I also attended the uh, school board meeting that was held earlier this uh, this week, <coughs> where we were able to hear about the kids of character from Xenia Community Schools, uh, a great lineup of one from each of the uh, schools, including the uh, middle school and high school. Uh, we also got to meet the graduates of distinction mm -hmm. from this year's graduating class. Uh, the, all of them going on to certainly a, a diverse range of higher education opportunities and a wide range of schools, mostly in the local area, but a few outside the area. Um, 
We also heard from the board and heard from, I believe it was 13 people speaking in favor of putting the uh, levy proposal back up again on the uh, ballot in August. Uh, the comments received by the board were overwhelmingly positive, and I would encourage everyone on either side of the equation, as I did that evening, to seek out the facts for all to only provide documentable facts and not merely opinions or, or slant, and that all of us would hopefully respect one another's <coughs> point of view and move forward with character, hospitality, and integrity as we go through this process that I'm sure will be uh, interesting and challenging as uh, the vote from the last election uh, proved that there is division within the city over the, uh, the need for this issue. I would also congratulate the uh, Xenia graduates coming up very shortly. Uh, I had one last year. It is a great time and a time of great change. So uh, good luck to all of them. And also congratulations, obviously, to our college graduates from uh, Central State and Wilberforce. Uh, and a sincere, a very, very sincere, as the mayor said, thanks to Denny Morrison. He has been a phenomenal superintendent for the community schools, uh, one which will not be easily replaced, uh, but we just uh, wish him well in retirement and uh, all the uh, blessings and enjoyment that come with retirement. Mr. President, I did have one thing, and the mayor reminded me of it, uh, actually, and it's the first time I think, you correct me if I'm uh, wrong there, because you know a lot more about Xenia history than I do, but the Xenia High School Marching Band uh, oh, yeah. uh, performed at the Wilberforce commencement mm -hmm. on Saturday, and they were uh, absolutely marvelous. They, they did a superb job bringing the faculty and the, uh, and the platform dais guests into and out of the uh, commencement, and they seemed to enjoy the, uh, the commencement. So I was there for Captain Lane's graduation as well as all of the graduates. I had 118 uh, graduates at Wilberforce on Saturday. I was one of the marshals, as a matter of fact, so it was a, a wonderful experience for me and for them, and they did a, just a superb job. They represented Xenia High School extremely, extremely well, and uh, I congratulate them for their participation in the Wilberforce graduation, and it was President Felton's first graduation as the 21st president of Wilberforce University. So, Thank you very much. Uh, I have one additional item I would like to bring forward for council's consideration. I would like to move that we adjourn to a very brief executive session to discuss personnel matters. May I have a second, please? Second. Seconded by Councilman Wallace. Uh. Discussion or question on the motion, please. And we will not be coming back out of uh, executive session to do any substantive business. Uh, the audience is welcome to stay if they like. But I assure you we are not coming back to do any substantive business. We will uh, essentially conclude from there and then formally conclude as required uh, out here as, as necessary. Roll call, please. Councilman Wallace. Aye. Councilman Lauterbach. Aye. Councilwoman Mays. Aye. Councilwoman Mills. Aye. Mayor Bayless. Aye. President Engels. Aye. This is Motion carried. Thank you. We'll save these. Right?